This conference will now be recorded. Yes, hi, my name is Becky. I am an alcoholic. Um, I'm really excited to be here today. Um, I am from um, Manahawkin, New Jersey in the United States. My home group is um, called the There is a Solution Speaker Group. Um, we meet on Saturday nights. We are no longer in any kind of a Zoom or, or virtual format. But um, after the meeting, if any of you, we do record our speakers and, and I can um, share the uh, SoundCloud information with anybody that's interested in hearing any of our past speakers. Um, we do we do try to bring a message of um, really what, what I think this program is, is, is about, which is, is just a consistent message of hope through um, God dependency and the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, I love my home group. We are a bunch of people that um, know we should be dead and are really happy that we're not. And we show that joy um, in having averted death to not be so dramatic um, by trying to help other people that, that suffer from the same thing that we do. Um, I have a sponsor. She knows she's my sponsor. I'm accountable to her. Um, I have um, and I have the uh, absolute privilege of, of sponsoring other women in this program. Um, I have a sobriety date. It is um, August 31st of 2015. And um, and I was I was asked to pick a topic for today. And, and the topic that I chose was a design for living because it really um, it kind of summarizes everything that I suffer from with alcoholism. Um, I come to Alcoholics Anonymous and, and I think that I have this drinking problem because I drink too much and I can't stop drinking. And I hurt a lot of people when I drink. Um, but but through the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, this program and this fellowship and this God that I found here, I, I discovered that I don't suffer from a drinking problem. I suffer from an inability to live sober. Um, and, and so Design for Living kind of ties into that. Translate. Thank you. Our uh, pair, Becky and our New Jersey, Manny Hawken, and our uh, home group, there is a solution. Our Zoom, the color, we have recording set on the speaker meeting. Our home group and the Chala is to enter and then such calls in the Nin and the drama, the dramatic chapter school. Uh, Katha then is on Alanti Naki Rosu Oka Oka Margonde. They would make the other party Mundkele Margonde. Ani Nak Telsu. So E. Anandani Nenu Pakanwal to Panchpuntano, wherever he is on the solution on the Nitelivers Tano. No, I have a sponsor. I have a sponsor game on account. I have a sponsor. I have a sponsor. I have a regular touch. I have a accountable. I have a And I have a speaker meeting. I have a recording. I have a cloud information. I have a share. Please go ahead. Bye. All me? Okay. Um, so so I don't suffer from a drinking problem. I suffer from a sobriety problem. And, and what that means for me is that I have absolutely, um, I am absolutely incapable of living successfully in my sober skin. Um, the Big Book of Alcoholics Anonymous says that this program provides um, a design for living that really works. And, and what that means for me is that um, I go through these steps and, and I am tapped into a, a, a way of life, a program, like directions for life that uh, when I follow, I can live successfully. And um, I don't know about any of you, but, but prior to me coming to Alcoholics Anonymous, um, the way that I lived my life was always just a reaction to whatever was going on in front of me. Like something would happen and I would react to it. Um, there was no real planning or foresight or, or like I was, it was like I was, our book says we're driven by a thousand forms of fear. So I'm driven by all these things and I don't even know it. Um, 
and and what that looks like for me is um you know I, I i come from a crazy family a lot of instability in my in my home as a child which i later blamed on my you know i blame my alcoholism on that and um and i've got this crazy life and no real skills and um and i was actually scared of drinking um like alcohol had a bad rap in my house in the sense that um you know my father was an abusive alcoholic my mother um suffers from this illness and uh and so i was had a healthy fear of alcohol and and thought i would never drink like it seemed like a really bad idea but the only thing i was more afraid of than drinking um was probably like what you think of me and so when i'm a teenager and somebody offered me a drink um you know i took that drink and um and it was an amazing experience it it changed me forever um translate so even ee roju indak cheptunnattu even problem taagudu gaadu taagudu lekunna ela jeevinchali aalochana vidhano basically ee problem anamata సో దానికి ఈవిడి మన బిగ్ బుక్ ఏం చెప్పొద్దు అంటే బేసిక్ గా మనకు ఒక డిజైన్ ఫర్ లివింగ్ ఉంది అంటే ఒక డిజ్ ఒక కార్య అదే ఒక దారి ఉంది ఇలా ఇలా బతకచ్చు అని ఒక దారి ఉంది అనమాట ఆ దారి ద్వారా మనం వెళ్ళగలిగితే ఇది ఈ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ నుంచి కొంచెం అయినా బయటపడచ్చు ఇంకోటి ఏంటంటే ఈవిడికి చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి చాలా ట్రబుల్డ్ ఫ్యామిలీ నుంచి వచ్చారన్నమాట ఈవిడ సో చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి ట్రబుల్డ్ ఫ్యామిలీ నుంచి రావటం మొదట్లో ఏమనుకుందంటే ఈవిడి దానివల్లే నేను ఇలా తాగబోతే అయిపోయాను అని అనుకున్నది ఈవిడ ఫస్ట్ లో కాకపోతే ఏంటంటే తర్వాత తెలిసింది దానివల్ల కాదు నాకు ఆలోచన విధానం రాంగ్ నేను ఎలా ఆలోచిస్తానో అది రాంగ్ అని ఈవిడికి అర్థమైంది సో ఫస్ట్ లో ఈవిడికి అంటే కొంచెం ప్రాబ్లమాటిక్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఉన్న ఆ ప్రాబ్లం లేని పెద్ద ఈవిడ్ని బాధ పెట్టలేదు దానికంటే ఎక్కువ ఏం బాధ పెట్టింది అంటే పక్కనోడు ఏమనుకుంటున్నాడు నా గురించి అని చెప్పి సో ఒకసారి మొదటిసారి టీనేజ్ వయసులో ఈవిడ మందు తాగినప్పుడు మొత్తం ఆ భయాలు అన్ని పోయినాయి మన పుస్తకం అంటది మనల్ని వంద రకాల భయాలు మనల్ని నడిపిస్తాయి అది మనకు తెలియదు కూడా తెలియదు ఆ వంద రకాల భయాలు మనల్ని నడిపిస్తున్నాయి అని చెప్పి సో ఆ వంద రకాల భయాలు నడిపిస్తాయి అని చెప్పి మనకి తెలియదు కాకపోతే నా భయాలు అన్ని కూడా పోయినాయి నేను మొదటి అదే మొదటిసారి నేను తాగినప్పుడు అందుకని నాకు ఆల్కహాల్ ఒక సొల్యూషన్ లా అనిపించింది ఇది చాలా బాగుంది అనిపించింది అని అంటున్నారు సో ప్లీజ్ గో హెడ్ బెకి థ్యాంక్ యూ సో ఐ యూ డ్రింకింగ్ చేంజ్ మీ ఫర్ ఎవర్ అండ్ అండ్ and what i mean by that is it fixed me um you know i was always a shy scared kid i was always really consumed with this self-centered fear like fear of what you thought of me or fear of what was going to happen or fear of how i looked or fear of looking stupid or or all those things which which i guess a lot of young teenagers have like i don't know if that makes me unique um you know but but the problem is is that um like our in bill wilson in 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 um in bill's story he he says that like he starts off saying i discovered alcohol and and the problem for me if you're a future alcoholic like i was is that um all those fears and all that awkwardness and all that self consumption um you know being paralyzed in my own self booze fixed it for me booze took it away alcohol made me not care what you think it made me not afraid it made me able to talk to people it made me comfortable in my own skin and and that's what i mean when it say it changed me forever and and the problem if you're a drunk like me if you're a future alcoholic like me um when alcohol fixed all that for me i instantly became willing to pay any price for it um if if you give me that kind of relief um i will sell my soul to to feel that way um i i don't have a drinking problem drinking is the answers to my problem but the problem for me is that it causes problems that i can't fix um and that's the loop that if you're a, a, that alcoholics get stuck in what alcohol do, does for me um matters more to me than what it does to me and the prices that i pay 
for the next drink. Um, you know, I'm, I'm talking about being like a 13, 14 year old kid, you know, 30 some odd years ago. And um, I didn't from that point forward of that first drink, you know, grab a, a gallon handle of vodka and start drinking every day around the clock. That that is not my story. Um, but but what I did do is um, it changed the trajectory of my life and, and the focus of my life. And and it it became a thing where I really just said, you know, any opportunity I have to, to do more of that, I'm going to do. And um, and. And it quickly changed the course of my life in the sense that prior to my discovery of alcohol, I was a really good student. Um, I was, you know, I was the person that people said have potential. Like it felt like my path, my design for living was kind of written. You know, I was supposed to go to school, get a good job, have a career, um, you know, and then like, you know, do the family thing and the and you know like I, I had all these plans and these goals and these dreams um and, and I thought my path was kind of set at a young age I was being invited to to colleges um you know on, on scholarship and all that kind of thing and and what happened for me is after I started drinking I found the answer to all my problems and all those plans that I had my entire life up to that point no longer mattered I, I never got another good grade or cared about school. Um, I, I never cared about like going off to college or escaping my family. My parents that I thought were so crazy because they were raging alcoholics, all of a sudden the way they drank and the way they lived made a lot of sense to me um, because my, my, my focus is no longer, you know, on, on trying to be a good and decent human. It's just trying to be numb. Um, I, I say it often that I am a relief seeking missile. You know, I, I will do anything. Um, my my only goal in life is ever to feel OK. And and so I will chase that. And, and booze fixes that um, in sobriety. You know, I, I in my life, I should say, I've discovered lots of things, you know, treat my alcoholism, um, whether it's shopping or food or, um, you know, relationships or even financial success, all kinds of things can kind of treat that dis-ease within me that we talk about is alcoholism, but, but nothing treats it quicker than booze, you know, and, and so I, I chase that, you know, really to the gates of death. Uh, translate. Thank you. So, even in the big book, Bill W. చెప్తారు ఏంటంటే ఐ డిస్కవర్డ్ ఆల్కహాల్ అంటే అలాగే ఇవి డిస్కవర్ అంటే ఏంటి కనుక్కున్నాను అంటే అది ఆల్రెడీ ఉంది ప్రపంచంలో దాన్ని కనుక్కోవడం జరిగింది ఏం కనుక్కోవడం జరిగింది అది తాగితే సో అది అది ఏం జరిగిందంటే సో అది తాగ్గానే మొత్తం అన్ని మొత్తం ఎన్ని సమస్యలు తీరిపోయినట్టు అనిపించింది అనమాట వాళ్ళ ఇంట్లో వాళ్ళు వాళ్ళ తల్లిదండ్రులు చాలా అంటే వాళ్ళు కూడా ఈవిడ ప్రకారం చాలా గొరవైన తాగుబోతుంది సో అవి ఏం పట్టించుకునేది కదా ఒకసారి ఈవిడికి తాగుడు ఏంటంటే తాగుడు అన్నది పరిచయం అయ్యాక ఈవిడికి ఒకటే పని నేను మత్తులో ఉండాలి దానికోసం ఈవిడ ఏమన్నా చేస్తుంది ఆ రిలీఫ్ ఉంటుంది చూడండి ఎందుకంటే ఆ రిలీఫ్ ఇచ్చేది ఆ మీరేమనుకుంటున్నారు రకరకాల భయాలు నుంచి ఇప్పుడు మంచి ఫస్ట్ క్లాస్ స్టూడెంట్ మంచి స్టూడెంట్ ఈవిడ మంచి ఫ్యూచర్ ఉందని చెప్పి అందరూ అనుకునేవారు ఈవిడ జీవితం ఆల్రెడీ సెట్ అయిపోయింది ఏంటంటే ఈవిడ కాలేజ్కి వెళ్తుంది దాంట్లో మంచి ఉద్యోగంలో జాయిన్ అవుతుంది అన్న కాకపోతే ఇదంతా ఎప్పుడు తాగుడు నాకేమి ఇస్తుంది అని చూసాను కానీ ఆ రిలీఫ్ ఇస్తుంది నాకు తాగునని నాకు చూసాను కానీ నన్ను ఏం చేస్తుంది అన్నది నేను చూడలేదు నాకేమి ఇస్తుంది అన్నది చూసాను కానీ నన్ను ఏం చేస్తుంది ఈ తాగుడు అన్నది నాకు చూడలేదు ఎందుకంటే నేను ఆ రిలీఫ్ సీకింగ్ మిసైల్ అంటే దాన్ని ఎక్కడైతే నాకు రిలీఫ్ దొరుకుతుందో అక్కడికి వెళ్ళిపోతాను సో నేను రకరకాలు వేరే కూడా చేశాను కానీ తాగుడు ఇచ్చినంత రిలీఫ్ నాకు ఏది ఇవ్వలేదు అని చెప్తున్నాను ప్లీజ్ గో హెడ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ um so you know the prices that i paid for out to, to for relief you know the, the prices that i paid to feel okay in my own skin um in the beginning 
didn't seem that dramatic um, to me. Like they were totally worth it. Um, but but by the end, you know what what I gave up in my pursuit of of not being sober, what I gave up to 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 stay loaded, what I gave up as an alcoholic was um, you know the love and respect of of my family. Um, you know every professional career that I'd ever considered having, you know, like all my professional dreams, you know, cause I basically became unemployable. Um, you know, my, the love and I already said the love and respect of my family, but, but like, you know, hurting every person that was ever dumb enough to love me, you know, um, all that kind of stuff, like every car I've ever driven, I, I would, you know, I was, I was famous for crashing cars to the point that like my family wouldn't even let like, like I wasn't allowed to drive my own children around because I was dangerous, you know, and, and, um, and, and I just started, you know, like selling pieces of my soul in the sense of like, I'm, I have a moral character. Like I, I know right from wrong, you know, it's, it, I, I wasn't, you know, raised in, in, in a vacuum where, where I, you know, I didn't have a, a sense of, of, you know, that I, I don't need a 12 step program to know that it is wrong to steal from my family. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't, I, I know right from wrong, but, but the problem for me is that I lack the ability um, to do the right thing. Like uh, you'll hear people say that sometimes in Alcoholics Anonymous, like they'll say, do the next right thing as if it's just that easy that I just, you know, it's, it's it, it, all I have to do is just try to do right. And, and I lack the power to do that. And, and, and really with this topic of a design for living, that's really what it's it's the whole thing is about for me with Alcoholics Anonymous is is that I lack the power um, to do the right thing. I lack the power to make a plan for what my life should be like and just be that person. Um, I even lack the power to be nice if I want to be nice, you know, like I and and so what what Alcoholics Anonymous did for me and has done for me is it connected me to a power that enabled me to solve my problem. And and I thought that problem was just a drinking problem. And and trust me, it's it's a pretty big symptom of our problem, right? It says that alcohol is only a symptom. It's a pretty ugly, painful symptom. Um, you know, people weren't going around and and a friend of mine says all the time, you are you, you know, you don't get arrested for driving while fat, right? Like all the things that I do um in, you know, when I'm suffering from this spiritual malady, um, don't necessarily get me into the trouble that alcohol does, you know? So, so it's one heck of a symptom, but it's, it's only a symptom of this thing. And, and the, the real root of my problem, our literature says is selfishness. So I am completely and totally selfish. I am driven by fear. I have absolutely no idea how to live my life. And when I finally start winding up in um, in mental institutions, um, you know, rehabilitation facilities, that sort of thing, um, I, I think that all I have to do is just stop drinking and then my life will get better. But what happens for me is I stop drinking and then I'm no longer numb. Right. Like I then like I'm just one giant raw nerve and with no answer, because when I quit drinking, you guys take away the only thing that makes me feel OK and I don't know how to live. And and so I'm like the tornado that our book talks about and I'm causing more destruction sober, you know, or dry than I ever did necessarily drinking because I'm sharper at it. You know, I'm I'm I'm. And, and I'm this I'm running around and, and I'm just kind of, you know, completely and totally miserable and crazy without an answer. And and thank God our book gives us an answer. Thank God that we have this 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 solution. Like there's a there's a chapter in our book and it's, it's in the book Alcoholics Anonymous. And it says, you know, there is a solution like we have an answer here. And and I thank God that I found it um, because I, I come into Alcoholics Anonymous and I think I have to just not drink. And and I try really hard to just not drink and I'm not capable of staying just not drinking. And and so what that means is that um, I, I, I'm in Alcoholics Anonymous and I'm sober um, until sobriety becomes so painful that I, I wind up drinking again. And then I'm drinking until drinking is so painful. I can't stand that. So then I, I crawl, you know, something will happen to me like I'll get in trouble. Um, 
you know, and by trouble, I mean either like, you know, some like major family thing will happen or like I'll, you know, I'll get a DWI, which, you know, a, a you know, drunk driving ticket or or something like I'll face some major consequence and, and I'll wind up coming back to Alcoholics Anonymous. So I'm I'm stuck in this cycle of getting drunk to get sober, to get sober, to get drunk, like a revolving spinning door um, where all I'm really doing is running from pain. Um and, and when one thing becomes so painful, I run to the other. Like I said before, I'm reacting to life. There's no real plan. It, it's not a design for living. It's just me running from fear and pain. And, and the irony of that is that today, sober, um, six and a half years, I can look back and see that I was running from the only thing that ever causes me to grow. And that's pain. You know, when, when something painful happens today, I have a design for living. I have this plan. I have these 12 steps and this God um, and, and I can grow through that pain and, and get to the other side of it. But but prior to, to this experience in Alcoholics Anonymous with these 12 steps, my entire life, I thought my life goal was just to feel OK. And I lack the power to make myself feel OK. Um and, and stay in that place of, of like what we call things like peace and serenity. Um, and, and so I spend all my time running in circles, trying to, um, trying to get better, not knowing even what I suffer from. You know, I think that if I stop drinking, my life will get better and it doesn't, it just doesn't. And, and, and if I'm going to be miserable anyway, it seems like drunk and miserable is a better option because then at least I'm numb to the fact that my life stinks. Um, translate. So you would give end and you would chala bovat kundi kaguru valla. Mukhya ne end and a would atman a would ames kundi. You would tell you that kaadu upro you would twelve step program akkar ledu. Yedi manchi yedi chedu tell you that niki. Manchi yedo tell you sena adi chese capacity a power you would give it less. Upro orda. ఎప్పుడు నేను మంచి చేద్దాం అనుకుని నేను ఎవరితో మంచిగా ఉందాం అనుకుని విసుగ్గా ఉంటాను నేను లేకపోతే చిరాగ్గా ఉంటాను ఆ పవర్ అన్నది నా దగ్గర లేదు అది ఆల్కహాలిక్స్ అనానిమస్ నుంచి వచ్చిన పవర్ అది నేను నా మొత్తం రెస్పెక్ట్ అంతా పోగట్టుకున్నాను నేను చాలా ర్యాష్ డ్రైవర్ ని బోల్డ్ యాక్సిడెంట్లు చేశాను ఆఖరికి మా ఫ్యామిలీ నన్ను నా పిల్లల్ని కూడా నేను అటు ఇటు కారులో తెప్పడానికి అంగీకరించేవారు కాదు ఎందుకంటే అన్ని యాక్సిడెంట్లు చేశాను నేను నేను ఆ మత్తు కోసం ఆ భయాన్ని నాలో ఉన్న భయాన్ని కప్పేయటం కోసం నేను చాలా తిరిగాను మళ్ళీ ఒకసారి ఆపేస్తే అన్ని బానే ఉంటాయి అనుకుంటే ఆపేసాక మరి ఇప్పుడు నా దగ్గర అది ఆ నమ్మింగ్ ఏజెంట్ లేదు సో నాకు ఇంకా చిరాకు కానీ లేకపోతే ఇంకా ఆ భయం కానీ ఉండేది లేకపోతే ఇంకా బాధ కానీ ఉండేది మళ్ళీ నేను వెళ్ళి తాగే తాగేదాన్ని మళ్ళీ ఆ తాగుడు ఏంటంటే నాకు నొప్పి క్రియేట్ చేసేది ఎందుకంటే దానివల్ల నేను కాన్సిక్వెన్సెస్ బయట పోలీసులు పట్టుకోవటం లేకపోతే ఉద్యోగాలు పోవటం ఉద్యోగాల్లో పరుగు పోవటం లేకపోతే అలాగ అయితే ఉండేది మళ్ళీ మానేసేదాన్ని మళ్ళీ కొన్ని రోజులకి ఆ నొప్పి తట్టుకోలేక మళ్ళీ వెళ్ళి తాగేదాన్ని సో ఇది ఒక రివాల్వింగ్ డోర్ లాగా అంటే ఈ తలుపు అన్నది ఇలా చుట్టూ తిరుగుతూ ఉంటుంది నేను లోపలికే బయటకి లోపలికే బయటకి వెళ్తూ ఉంటాను ఎందుకంటే నా దగ్గర ఆ నొప్పిని తట్టుకునే శక్తి లేదు సో లోపలికి బయటకి లోపలికి బయటకి వెళ్తున్నాను నాకు తెలియలేదు అప్పుల్లో సో ఏంటంటే ఈ ఈ భయాల నుంచి ఈ పెయిన్ నుంచి నేను అప్పుడు నాకు తర్వాత ఈ రోజు ఆరున్నర ఏళ్ళు సోబర్ నాకు ఇప్పుడు అర్థం అవుతుంది ఆ భయాల నుంచి ఆ నొప్పి నుంచి నేను పారిపోయేదాన్ని అని చెప్పి కాకపోతే ఆ నొప్పి భరి అంటే ఆ నొప్పిలోంచే ఆ నొప్పిలోంచే మనం ఎదుగుతాము అని ఇప్పుడు తెలిసింది నాకు నొప్పితోటే ఎదుగుతాం అని చెప్పి నేను ఆ పన్నెండు సోపానాలు నొప్పిలో ఉన్నప్పుడు నేను దాన్ని ప్రాక్టీస్ చేసి ఆ నొప్పిలో నుంచి బయటకు వచ్చినప్పుడు నా ఎదుగుదల ఉంటుంది ఎందుకంటే నా ఆలోచన విధానం తప్పు అది మారుతూ ఉండాలంటే ఆ నొప్పిలోంచి నేను వెళ్ళాలి అని అంటున్నారు ప్లీజ్ గో హెడ్ All right. So I, I, what happens to me is I fall on my face once more um, and I come back into Alcoholics Anonymous because that's what I do whenever I fall on my face. And um, 
And I really don't think that this time is going to be any different than any other time because I've done this before and I've, I've tried a million times to get sober and fail, you know, but, but I have that thing that we call that, you know, that obsession of the mind followed by this, you know, phenomenon of craving where once, you know, my, my brain always takes me back to a drink. And then once I start drinking, I can't stop, which is really what defines me as an alcoholic, not the things that happened to me. Um, and, and so I get caught in that cycle again. I wind up coming back to Alcoholics Anonymous and, and something different happens for me. And, and what that is, is that I meet people that have a, I meet some people in Alcoholics Anonymous that, that have an answer to what I'm suffering from. They, they, they're speaking my language and, and it's, it's the kind of thing where you're sitting in a meeting and you hear somebody sharing and you just start nodding in spite of, in spite of yourself. Like you're, you're nodding because you realize that they actually understand what you're talking about. Um, and what you feel and, and what that was for me is instead of like saying things like, you know, um, don't drink no matter what they, they said things to me like you're going to drink no matter what, because you're powerless. You were, you were going to drink if, if you don't do something different. Um, and, and what that something different looked like for me is it was very much like what our book talks about in the chapter into action. Um, I'm, I'm with these people and, and they're talking a different language. They're talking about altruism. They're talking about God and, and, and God dependency and relying on a higher power. They're talking about taking these steps and, 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 and writing a fourth step and making an amends. And, and they're talking about all of this stuff. And, and I think that just by running around with them and, and kind of like staying in their shadow that like I'm going to get this thing, you know, and, and that I'm going to somehow get it through like osmosis. So I, I follow them around, but I don't take a lot of actions, you know, and, and I just am kind of happy that they want me around. And and I'm following around. And, and what happens for me, you know, our, our it's just like our literature says where he made a good start, but then he wound up drunk again. You know, I made lots of good starts in Alcoholics Anonymous where I thought I was finally, you know, going to be OK and finally done and everything would be all right. Um and but what happened for me is is there was some kind of distraction, you know, and 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 what that happened is is I find another answer and I'm back off to the, the races again, because the thing that I lack is this design for living. The thing that I lack in my life is this higher power driven, consistent action. You know, I can do anything for five seconds, but I've never in my life been able to do anything um to maintain it. And, and so for the first time in my life, when I come crawling back to Alcoholics Anonymous, I jump into the middle of Alcoholics Anonymous. And, and what that means for me is I'm taking all the actions that we talk about in here. You know, I join a home group. I get a commitment at my home group. I start taking these steps, you know, and, and I got real hung up on the God step. Because like you guys, as if there's only one God step. But when you guys talk to me about this, this relationship with your higher power, with your God and how it's the most important relationship in your life and it's the thing that saved you. Um, I don't really believe that because I feel like either God isn't that powerful or I don't rank because look how broken I am. Look how much my life stinks, you know, and look at all the trouble I'm in. So I think that either God is mad at me or um or isn't that powerful or real? You know, I, I don't believe that there isn't. I, I, it's not about that he's real, but I just think that like I don't measure up because my life is a mess. And um, and somebody said to me something that was really profound at the time. And he said to me, he said, Becky, you've been a liar your entire life. Instead of coming around these rooms and and lying about an experience with these steps that you're obviously not having instead of lying about this relationship with God that you obviously don't believe in. Um, instead of doing that, how about you just walk three feet behind us and you do what we do. And I promise you at the end of it, you will come to have a relationship with your God that is personal to you that can give you that design for living and save all your, and, you know, and, and, and solve all your problems that can, that can save you. So he gave me permission to not, um, be dishonest. You know, he gave me permission to say that I didn't think this was going to work and it all seemed crazy and weird. Um, and, and he gave me permission to like not have to act like I was OK when I wasn't. Um, and and that really made all the difference for me. Like, I don't know why we have to start Alcoholics Anonymous at a place of complete and total honest brokenness. But for the first time in my life, I was there. 
And, and that was what changed everything for me, translate. So, again, I was able to get a little alcoholic. I was able to get a little bit of a bite. I was able to get a little bit of a bite. I was able to get a little bit of a bite. I was able to get a little bit of a bite. I was able to get a little bit of a bite. I was able to get a little so, ini kontra mandi dorikir na kapuru, walain dente, and di swardon lain istilah agurin cii, dewi udah meh dah dar batang agurin cii macar tenaru. So, ini deh do bane onde an kuna no, al to batu tirke dani, end a deh do automatic gan agur as kunta de push kunta dani tu, action je se dani gan deno, katu walala lau je se orang no, al to batu teragadan cii. So, ilaga, kalau ini sari macam tu, ini saya ni ada, matthah alkali saya nak masuk dua ke saya macam tu. Ante ini ni action je itu modal bete, no? Kata rondo sopan anda kira tu kupai ni, no? Ini ni ada, dewu dah ni ada, na, tuan jiwu tu anta drinking tu, no? Inga dewu tu, itu anta all powerful tu, matthah cahala power tu anta de. Cemin je guna aldo under under, nak nama sakingnya under juga tu. Mukingnya under under, nenu, nak kalau dewu je asal tu, entuk ente nenu, nalo anta, viluel lewu dewu dalah cedan ki, anu kene dah nenu. Berawal cedan cemoga ni, nak kalau je asal tu anu kene dah nenu. Ogor rosu oga, old timeru, mundunu ah under under, oga, oga. Anak corak apa itu nama mata lantai yang mata lade itu. Enam mundu nu ini abad dapat jiwat itu modal bete. Edo staple guru ini mata lada asno, anu butel guru ini mata lada asno. Ayam ni ni gerawat ledu. Ni jiwat itu edo panda gelang orang nanti cipta no. Alah ni jiwat itu ledu. Mundu ayam ni ni dekik lebu. Ni koka higher power orang serigala ledu. So ni wakatya orang cip. Mereu nadustun na dari lo ke mood adu di nara kalau mana? Nih kiri ni a nara kaya purta ya serikin nih kiri ni asli. Nih kau ke personal higher power asli. Ani chapter jari gendi, ayen ana ku arus permission ni cedu, enda neng awat dal ada ku. Balai tu enda balai tu nci. Ah, inka, ah, enti. Higher power guru mana mutan orang cakap ko, nama tu lagi ada nama tu. Ah, so, purti honesty itu modal betta li program. Hmm, purti honesty itu modal betta li sena wasrong ande. Ah, apne nenu mundu kesal gol tu nana. Hmm, ala mundu kesal tu elkan nana, hati ni cina mat la rosu nak ko ni zengga talpul terusai an cepat nana. Please go ahead. So. You know, this place of, of complete brokenness that I come back to, um, you know, when, when I'm surrounded by people in Alcoholics Anonymous that are doing this thing is, is the one thing that I realized when I get into these steps is that um, is that for my entire life, an alcoholic has been running my life. And, and a friend of mine said, imagine it like if it was a business. Would you let an alcoholic run your business? You know, would you let an alcoholic run your household? Would you let an alcoholic make all your decisions for you and make that plan? You know, and and the answer obviously is like, no, you know, who would hire an active drunk, right? Who would hire somebody that was blowing up their life? But but the truth is, is that my entire life, an alcoholic had been running my life and making all my decisions for me. Um, and my sponsor said, you know, you need to fire the alcoholic from running your life. And that's really what that third step decision is, is for me. It was it was firing the alcoholic that was running my life and getting a new manager. Um, and, and from here on out, that manager was going to be God um, and, and that I'm supposed to let God run my life. And, and I don't know how to do that or what that means. Like, that sounds like what? Like, it, it's it's. Um, it just doesn't that doesn't make any sense to me. And if it doesn't make sense for me, I have a hard time doing it. And and the way that she explained it to me is that what that means is that from here on out, 
you're going to take the rest of these steps. And um, and that's what that third decision is, is I'm making this decision to, to let God run my life. I'm going to take the rest of these steps. And if something happens for me when I get to the end of these steps is I'm going to try to help as many people as I can. Um, and, and that's that's the design for living. That's the plan is that realizing that when God is in charge of my life, and then I can go out and try to be helpful to the people in his life. And that my entire purpose for my life is to um, is to place myself to be of maximum usefulness to God and other people. And, and the way that I do that is by by taking these steps and trying to help them. So. So I make this third step decision, which I don't even know what it means. I'm really just like a, agreeing to go forward with the rest of these steps. And, and I take these actions. And, and I think it's really important for me to say that I don't believe that any of this is going to work because by now I've been spending more time around Alcoholics Anonymous and trying to get sober than I drank before I even got here. So I don't think that this is going to work for me. But quite frankly, I'm so alone and desperate that I'm willing to do anything, even the things I think are stupid and it won't work. So I'm running around with a group of people in Alcoholics Anonymous and and I'm. And I'm doing what they do. And what that means is we're going on speaking commitments and we're we're bringing meetings into um, hospitals and 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 rehabs. And we're we're um, going into um, sober living communities and and trying to help people. And um, and I used to take this meeting um, once a week. I would I would go to this big book step study and this big book beginners meeting. And um, I would bring it into a, a sober living recovery house in, in my town where there was a lot of new people. And, and one of the requirements for living in this house is they had to get a sponsor and they had to go to this weekly meeting. And so I would bring this meeting into this house and, and I would be talking about steps one, two and three with these women. And this woman asked me to sponsor her. And and I I don't know if I have anything to offer anyone at this point, like what that means for me is that like I it's been a long time since I thought about killing myself. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm no longer feeling desperate. I'm not chasing a drink and I'm not feeling crazy in my own skin. Like something is happening for me, but I still haven't fixed my life for lack of a better word in the ways that I think matter. Like my family isn't back yet, you know, and, and I'm still real unstable in my job and and I'm still like flat broke and scared about money. Like my outside circumstances haven't changed really at this point, hardly at all. But but my insides are starting to change. And, and that was shining through. And, and I was probably only sober like nine months at this point. But but. When you're brand new in day zero, somebody with nine months with an answer must look pretty attractive, you know. And and so this woman asked me to sponsor her. And um, and I don't and at this point, I should also say that I think my sponsor is magic because I haven't wanted to kill. Like I said, I'm starting to feel better and, and I'm doing what she's telling me to do. And 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 I'm giving her all this credit for it. Like, I don't have faith in God. Like, I don't think that God is changing my life. I think that this woman is brilliant and magic and me doing what she's telling me to do is is making this amazing difference in my life. And because I think she's magic, um, it makes me even more willing to do the things that she tells me to do. Um, even the things that I think don't make any sense, right? Like, and and that's the thing that changed me, and 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 that's the biggest difference that's that's really made in my recovery. For the first time in my life, I was following directions from somebody other than myself. Like somebody would tell me to do something, or suggest I do something, or just flat out say I should do something, and. Prior to this time, if you had given me some good advice, I would smile and nod at you and because I want you to think that I'm nice and, and polite. But then I would really just kind of do whatever I wanted to in the sense that like you would say I should make coffee and I would smile and tell you I would. But then I would think about how I was too busy to make coffee. And so I wouldn't do it. Or, or coffee is just an example. It, it, there's a million of them. But but what I mean is it was the first time that I was ever doing what someone else told me to do that wasn't my own idea and even if the suggestions were 
like, I think that what mattered more to me and what was more life changing for me wasn't even the direction I was given. Um, but it was my willingness to follow it. Translate. Okay. So, you put the end and day. ఇల్లు ఏం చెప్పారంటే ఈ మా వెనకాల నడుచుకుంటూ వెళ్తే ఈ స్టెప్పులు అయ్యేసరికి నీకు ఒక అనుభూతి వస్తుంది దాని తర్వాత ఇది ఎలాగి అనుభూతికి వచ్చావో నువ్వు పంచుకుంటూ వెళ్ళటం సో మూడో సోపానంలో అసలు ఈవిడికి అర్థమే కాలేదు ఏంట్రా బాబు అసలు ఫస్ట్ ఒప్పుకోవడానికి ఈవిడికి ఒప్పుదలు రాలేదు దేవుడికి ఇచ్చేటి వేంట్రా బాబు నా ఇచ్చని నా జీవితాన్ని ఒకటే చెప్పింది అండి అదిగో మీ ఒకవేళ నీకు ఒక బిజినెస్ ఉందనుకో దానికి నువ్వు నిన్ను నువ్వు మేనేజర్ గా పెట్టుకుంటావు నీలాంటి తాగబోతుని ఇంకొకరిని మేనేజర్ గా పెట్టుకుంటావు సచ్చినా పెట్టుకోను అందండి వీడు సో అలాంటప్పుడు నీ నీ జీవితాన్ని నువ్వు మేనేజ్ చేయకు ఆయనకి ఇచ్చేయి అంటే ఇది కాయుడికి సరే అప్పుడు అర్థం కాలేదు అంట గత మెల్లిగా అర్థమైంది ఏంటంటే నేను దేవుడి పని చేస్తూ ఉంటే దేవుడి పని ఏంటి ఇప్పుడు ఆ మూడో సోపానం నుంచి మిగతా సోపానాలు చెయ్యాలి చేసి దాన్ని పంచాలి నేను ఎంత అలా పంచుతూ ఉంటే ఆయన నా పని చూస్తూ ఉంటాడు అంతే దేవుడి పని అంటే సో ఈవిడ అలాగే అప్పుల్లోనే హాఫ్ వే హౌస్లు అంటే జైలుకి ఇంటికి మ ఇంట్లో హాఫ్ వే హౌస్ అని ఉంటది అంటే అక్కడికి వెళ్ళి ఒంట రికవరీ అంటే మామూలుగా ఇలా రికవర్ అవుతున్న వాళ్ళందరూ ఒక కామన్ ఇళ్లలో ఉంటారు అనమాట అలాంటి చోటుకి వెళ్ళి మీటింగ్ అవి తీసుకెళ్లేది స్టెప్ వర్క్ షాపులు తీసుకెళ్లేది ఇవన్నీ తీసుకెళ్ళినప్పుడు ఈవిడికి ఏంటంటే బయట నుంచి పెద్దగా ఇంకా ఈవిడికి ఏమి ప్రాబ్లంలు సాల్వ్ అవ్వలేదు అంటే ఇంకా డబ్బులు విషయంలో చాలా చిరిగిపోయి ఉంది ఇంకా ఈవిడి కుటుంబం ఈవిడితో కలవలేదు ఇంకా భయాలు డబ్బుల విషయంలో భయం ఉండేది ఇక తొమ్మిది నెలల సొబ్రైటీ కాకపోతే ఏంటంటే ఈవిడికి లోపల మెల్లిగా మార్పులు జరగటం మొదలు పెట్టింది ఇంకా డెస్పిరేషన్ నేను వెళ్ళి చచ్చిపోవాలి లేకపోతే నేను వెళ్ళి సూసైడ్ చేసుకో అదే వెళ్ళి తాగాలి అన్న ఇది ఆవిడికి కలగటం ఆగిపోయింది సో లోపల మార్పులు జరుగుతున్నాయి ఈ లోపే ఎవరో ఈవిడ్ని స్పాన్సర్ కింద ఉండమన్నారు సో తొమ్మిది నెలల సొబ్రైటీకి సో అప్పుడు ఏంటి ఈవిడ వీళ్ళ స్పాన్సర్ మటుకు వీళ్ళ స్పాన్సర్ మాట మటుకు ఇంకా మ్యాజిక్ లాగా పనిచేసేది వాళ్ళ స్పాన్సర్ రకరకాల డైరెక్షన్లు ఇచ్చిన ఈవిడ ఇచ్చేదైతే ఉందో నేను చేస్తాను అని చెప్పి ఆ ఇచ్చ ఈవిడ్ని ఈవిడికి మ్యాజిక్ లా పనిచేసే అనమాట అదే మ్యాజిక్ కింద అయ్యింది అనమాట సో అది ఎలాంటి డైరెక్షన్ అయినా అవనివ్వండి ఆవిడ చేసేదాని ఆ ఇచ్చ ఏదైతే ఉంటుందో ఆ ఇచ్చ ద్వారా ఆ విల్లింగ్నెస్ ద్వారా ఈవిడికి ప్రోగ్రామ్ బాగా పనిచేయడం మొదలు పెట్టింది ప్లీజ్ గో హెడ్ సో ఐఎమ్ స్పాన్సరింగ్ దిస్ వుమెన్ అండ్ ఐ థింక్ దట్ మై స్పాన్సర్ ఇస్ మ్యాజిక్ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఈవెన్ షూర్ వాట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు ఆఫర్ నెసెసరీ బట్ ఐఎమ్ ఎక్సైటెడ్ ఫర్ ది ఆపర్చునిటీ అండ్ అండ్ వాట్ దాట్ మెంట్ ఫర్ మీ అట్ దట్ టైమ్ వాజ్ లైక్ ఐ ఓపెన్ అప్ ది బుక్ బిగ్ బుక్ యూ నో ది బిగ్ బుక్ ది బుక్ ఆల్కహాల్స్ అనానిమస్ అండ్ వీ సాట్ విత్ ఇట్ ఓపెన్ బిట్వీన్ అస్ ఇన్ ద టేబుల్ అండ్ వీ రెడ్ ఇట్ అండ్ వీ టుక్ ది స్టెప్స్ ఇస్ దర్ అవుట్లైన్డ్ ఇన్ ది బుక్ అండ్ అండ్ వాట్ ఐ మీన్ బై దట్ ఇస్ దట్ వెన్ ఇట్ సెడ్ యూ నో యూ నో వెన్ ఇట్ వుడ్ వెన్ ఇట్ వుడ్ సే థింగ్స్ వీ వుడ్ వీ వుడ్ టర్న్ దెమ్ ఇన్ టు క్వశ్చన్స్ అండ్ వీ వుడ్ కన్సిడర్ అవర్ ఎక్స్‌పీరియన్స్ అస్ ఇట్ లైన్డ్ అప్ విత్ ది బుక్స్ ఎక్స్‌పీరియన్స్ అండ్ అండ్ వెన్ ఇట్ సెడ్ రైట్ వీ రోట్ లైక్ అ ఫోర్త్ స్టెప్ అండ్ వెన్ ఇట్ సెడ్ ఆస్క్ వీ ప్రేడ్ అండ్ అండ్ వీ జస్ట్ ఫాలో ది డైరెక్షన్స్ అండ్ అండ్ ఐ షేర్డ్ మై ఎక్స్‌పీరియన్స్ విత్ దిస్ వుమెన్ అండ్ అండ్ దిస్ వుమెన్ షేర్డ్ హర్ ఎక్స్‌పీరియన్స్ విత్ మీ అండ్ అండ్ వీ సో వేర్ అవర్ ఎక్స్‌పీరియన్స్ మ్యాచ్ ది బుక్ అండ్ దిస్ అమేజింగ్ థింగ్ హ్యాపెన్డ్ రైట్ ఇస్ దట్ అమ్ దిస్ అమేజింగ్ థింగ్ దట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఇస్ దట్ దట్ డి దిస్ వుమెన్ గెట్స్ సోబర్ and and what that means is she she's able to stop drinking for and doing all that destructive stuff for the first time in her life you know where where she'd been driven the same way i was you know and 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 her family is restored and and she's able to like be employable again and she she fixes her life the way that we talk about and I, by she i mean like her life gets better you know and and she goes on to 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 help other people and 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 to be an upstanding member of her community and all this stuff and and here's the kicker she thinks i'm magic 
like the same way that I thought my sponsor was magic. She thinks I'm magic. And, and here's the, the God moment. I know I'm not magic. I know that I can't manage my own life. I know that I don't know anything. Like I know that half the time I have no idea whether I'm coming or going or this feels so nuts to me and I'm doing all these things. And, and, and I'm just, I, I don't want to say I'm hanging on by the skin of my teeth because like, I know I'm sober and I know God's got me, but like, I don't even know if I'm getting a paycheck next week. You know what I mean? So like, I'm, I'm having these kinds of experiences and, and, and meanwhile, this woman thinks I'm magic because I'm able to help her. And, and that was when what my friend told me about, about God came true for me, that if I took these actions and I did this thing and I, and I, and I, and I put all my will into like trying to line up with God and, and live this way that there was going to come a time where, um, where I knew you know, and, and, and where I knew that, that God had me and that, and that God was real and that this program was real and that it really worked. And, and it didn't happen for me when I was trying to get myself better. It happened for me when I saw another woman wake up in Alcoholics Anonymous. And, and so if, if you're new to this program or, or you're, or you're just kind of figuring it out, or you've been here for a million years, but you're kind of unhappy and, and you, and, and, and you haven't been on both sides of a fifth step. And in my experience, you haven't seen everything this program has to offer because it wasn't until I tried helping other people. And I don't even mean I have to be successful in helping other people. I just have to try, you know, like right now I'm, 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 you know, given a talk. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'm being effective, but I know that I'm trying, you know, and, and so it's, it's, it's about, it says that we try to carry this message to other alcoholics. So all I have to do is put in the effort. And, um, and that was when Alcoholics Anonymous came alive for me. That was when I was finally lined up and, and life got, I got easier in my own life. You know, it, 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 it um, it all came true for me. And, and those promises that we talk about started really showing up in my life for me. And, and I was able to live life successfully. So, so the design for living that we talk about is, is really for me, that third step decision followed by the action behind it. You know, I, I've got to make a decision every day to, to turn my will and my life over to God. And, and then I have to take the action, um, necessary for that to even be possible. Like, I don't know about any of you, but I spent a lot of time praying for God to save me. My prayers usually look something like, you know, God save me or kill me. I can't live this way anymore. You know, but then the next day, you know, I would, I would do all the same stuff and, and run on Becky's will. You know, I, I never like said, Hey God, you know, show me what to do and, and then put the effort into doing those things. You know, I would just kind of run my own life and expect God to like magically clean it up. And, and that has never been my experience behind any of this. It's, it's always been prayer followed by action. Um, translate. So the end and day, I know a sponsor of magic can put it on me and I know they would have the sponsor to me that I'm about to, even yes, I'm a sponsor to my book on each other. Look at the book step to NJ want on the book a chase contail or no. Are they got a question mark? Like a pet could not know. But NJ want on the book is sentence laying a month on the left. They ain't laying a month on the NJP. The animal is on a ball punch punch. You like in a sponsor to put a chain to mull with it. Oh, Mamelia and a sponsor, and look at the old court in there. Not the reason and the only guy and the end of Naji with the way. ఉద్యోగ
I'm sorry, I lost you for a minute. Can you hear me? अड़ी मरना मल्ल बी तन मन दीसे अच्छी आ स्टे जस्ट अपचपटमे अभी निरंतर अभी कार्याचरण सर जीवन विधान प्लीज गो हेड I am naturally our our book says it 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 talks about like in the being of how it works where it says that like a lot of us are constitutionally incapable right and it, it's and what it what it says even of being honest with myself like it says there are such unfortunates they are naturally incapable of of living the life that demands rigorous honesty and and one of the things that I have realized um in my life and I can I can spend hours telling you about all the blessings that I have gotten from alcoholics anonymous and and my really my only message ever is is hopefully one of hope it's one of like I don't no matter how many times you fail or you fall down or you think that they AA can't work for you or that God doesn't care whether you live or die like if you take these actions you can get sober um and have an amazing life like I could I could spend hours talking about all the gifts and the good but but i think that there's even more weight into talking about you know um sometimes the struggle right because it's it's like in this struggle like it's really easy for me to think that i'm on the right path and that i'm doing the right thing when everything is going okay when i'm getting my way it's easy to say thank god thank you god look at all my gifts but but how am i doing when i'm not necessarily getting my way says a lot more you know like it's I have to do this it, it says that faith must work through us you know 24/7 and and my book also tells me that I am naturally incapable of of living this life I am naturally incapable of living a life that demands rigorous honesty it doesn't even say when I'm drunk like I think that that just means that when I'm drunk I can't do the right thing but it doesn't say when I'm drinking I'm naturally incapable it says just that I'm naturally incapable So so what happens for me time and time again is I start taking these actions for a little while and life gets better and I don't know about any of you but then I get lazy and I stop doing this stuff the way that I should you know like I, I don't am I you know and, and and it's easy for me to kind of drift into this place of complacency and and for me this being naturally incapable of living a life that demands rigorous honesty so it means that I am naturally incapable of saving myself and so thank god that god gave me a program that goes against my nature there is nothing in my natural makeup in my dna that makes me want to tell you all the crazy things going on in my head there is whether if you're my sponsor there is nothing in my natural makeup that makes me want to selflessly think about putting your needs ahead of my wants there is nothing in my selfish makeup that makes me not approach life from this perspective of what do i need to do to protect myself and be okay i our book says that selfishness is my main problem this selfish self-centeredness i can't get rid of that on my own ever and and so what i do instead is thank god that in addition to my natural inability to take care of myself and do the right thing i have a program i have a program it's a design for living it's these 12 steps and these 12 steps get me out of my own way enough 
that God can get in the way and, and, and can make these changes in me. And that is really what the design of living as a topic and, and as a way of life really is. What it means is that, you know, I know I'm not okay, but I need people to think that I'm okay. I know that I can't get out of my own way. I, I can be overwhelmed in any given moment by trying to be all right and fighting for trying to get what I want and what I think I need to be okay. That's what my first step is full of. It's I can spend five minutes and tell you about the effects alcohol has on my life, that first part of that first step, right? I'm powerless over alcohol. But what about the second part of the first step where I know my life is unmanageable? I think the unmanageable manageability of my life is the fact that like when I'm drinking I crash cars and break stuff the unmanageability of my life has nothing to do with that the unmanageability of my life is this overwhelming desire to get what I want and what I think it, I need this overwhelming this fear um, that I'm not going to get the outcome that I want because the truth is is that I absolutely trust that God is in charge right I trust that everything is going to work out exactly the way God wants it to but I don't trust that I'm going to like it so I am completely and totally stuck in this fear again unless I'm doing these steps all the time unless I'm connecting to a sponsor who helps me see the truth you know, unless I've got this vision to work towards with my second step of what would it look like if God restored me to sanity? What would this look like? You know, and and so I, I, I treat these steps like it was something I did seven years ago. Right. It's something I did six years ago. It's something I did a long time ago. And thank God I'm OK now. But but nowhere in our program does it say we only do this thing once. In fact, what it actually says is um, we continue to take inventory. We continue to clean up these things as they come along. Like, I think that when I'm tapped into God, what that means is like, thank God I'm not going to be afraid anymore. Like, I think that absence of fear is, is the end result here. But what I have found instead is that because I am naturally incapable of living this way, that where like normal people just do all the time, what instead I have is I have a toolkit and I have these steps. And, and like in the 10th step, when it says continue to watch for resentment, fear, self-pity, um, I continue to watch for those selfishness. You know, I continue to watch for these things. And, and when they happen, then I do certain things. That's the design for living. It's, it's being, um, it's living a life of, um, of reflection. It's, 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 it's living an examined life. It's trying to be aware of, um, of where I am in relation to where God wants me to be. And, and trying to take the actions necessary to stay spiritually fit. Um, and I am in a constant, it's like we said, we cease fighting everything or anyone. I fight myself all the time. Like I can put myself in a constant state of struggle where um, I'm, I'm struggling between doing um, I didn't even want to say between doing my will versus God's will, because half the time I can't tell the difference. But like between I'm, I'm constantly caught in this in this struggle of, of doing what I need to do um, to. Um, to stay connected to God, translate. So, he. జీవన విధానం అన్నది ఈ పన్నెండు సోపానాలు నిత్యం చేస్తూ ఉండటమే ఎందుకంటే మన పుస్తకంలో ఎక్కడ రాసిలేదు ఇదేదో ఒక్కసారి చేసి ఆరేళ్ళ ముందు నేను ఆపేయలేని ఎందుకే ఏంటంటే పుస్తకంలో దానికి ఆపోజిట్ రాసిలేదు మనం ఎప్పటికప్పుడు ఇన్వెంటరీ తీసుకోవాలి ఎప్పటికప్పుడు ఓ స్పాన్సర్ తో టచ్ లో ఉండాలి మా ఏంటంటే ఐదో చాప్టర్ లో ఉంటది నాచురలీ ఇన్కేపబుల్ ఆఫ్ బీయింగ్ ఆనెస్ట్ విత్ దెమ్ సెన్స్ అంటే నేను నిజాయితీ అన్నది చాలా చాలా రిగ్రెస్గా ఉండాలంటే చాలా నిజాయితీగా ఉండాలి బేసిక్గా 
దానికి నేను న్యాచురల్లీ అంటాడు అంటే నేను ఏదో తాగినప్పుడు అబద్ధాలు చెప్తాను ఇప్పుడు బాగానే ఉన్నాను అని కాదు నాకు న్యాచురల్ గా కేపబిలిటీ లేదు అంటే నా పుట్టుకతో ఆ నిజాయితీ అన్న కేపబిలిటీ లేదు సో న్యాచురల్ గా నాకు ఈ జీవితాన్ని సక్రమంగా నడపడం రాదు నాకు నేను మొదట ఐదు నిమిషాలు నా మొదటి సోపానం అస్తవ్యస్త మొదటి సోపానం నా శక్తి గణత గురించి మాట్లాడాను కాకపోతే ముఖ్యమైనది రెండో భాగంలో ఉన్న నా జీవితం యొక్క అస్తవ్యస్తత నాకు నా జీవితం నాకు ఎప్పుడు ఏంటంటే ఈ రోజుకి కూడా నేను ఓన్లీ ప్రోగ్రామ్ పాటించటం తోటి కాస్త నేను ఆ అస్తవ్యస్తత నుంచి బయటకు వస్తాను ఎందుకంటే నేను ఎప్పుడు స్వార్థంతో ఆలోచిస్తాను స్వార్థ చింతం తోటి దేవుడు సహాయం లేకుండా స్వార్థం స్వార్థ చింతం అసలు ఎప్పటికి పోదది దేవుడు సహాయం లేకుండా తగ్గదు కాస్త ఈ పన్నెండు సోపానాలు లో పెట్టినప్పుడు అది కాస్త తక్కువ అవుతుంది తక్కువ అయినప్పుడు నాకు ఎంత సరిగ్గా సరిపోతుంది దేవుడు వచ్చి మన జీవితం నడిపించి అంత తక్కువ అవుతుంది అంతే తప్ప ఇప్పుడు నేను అంతా నేను ఎన్నో గిఫ్ట్లు ఉన్నాయి నా సొబ్రైటీలు ఆ గిఫ్ట్ అన్ని చెప్పుకుంటూ కూర్చుంటే ఇంకొక ఐదు నిమిషాలు అవుతుంది ఆ గిఫ్ట్లు కాదు ముఖ్యంగా ఏది నా నేను అనుకున్నట్టు జరగనప్పుడు నేను ఎలా ఉంటున్నాను నా రికవరీ ఎలా ఉంటుంది నేను నా దేవుడి మీద నాకు నమ్మకం ఉంది దేవుడు ఎన్ని చేస్తాడు అన్న నమ్మకం ఖచ్చితంగా ఉంది దేవుడు కాకే ఆ దేవుడు చేసేది నాకు నచ్చదు అన్నది భయం అది నా ముఖ్యమైన భయం ఆ చేసేది దేవుడు చేసేది నాకు నచ్చదేమో అని చెప్పి అందుకనే ఎప్పుడు నేను నా సొంత ఇచ్చకి దేవుడి ఇచ్చకి మధ్యలో కొట్టుకుంటూ ఉంటాను పుస్తకంలో ఇది కూడా రాసి ఉంది మనం అందరితో పోట్లాటం ఆపేసాం మందే కాదు ఎవరితో అయినా సరే మనం పోట్లాటం ఆపేసాం కానీ నేను రోజు నేను నాతో పోట్లాడుకుంటూ ఉంటాను సగంసార్లు నాకు దేవుడు ఇచ్చేంటో తెలీదు కాకపోతే నా ఇచ్చేంటో తెలీదు కాకపోతే నాలు నాకు ఈ రోజు నా పోట్లాట నా అంతరాత్మలోనే ఏది కరెక్ట్ ఏది రాదు అని చెప్పి కాకపోతే ఆ పోట్లాట నుంచి బయటకు రావడానికి ఈ పన్నెండు సోపానాలు సో అది చెప్తూ ఈవిడి ఏమంటున్నారంటే ఇప్పుడు ఏమంటారు చూద్దాం సో యూ కెన్ గో హెడ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో I take these steps and um and I realize I'm sorry I kind of lost my train of thought there during that part. So um like the thing for me is that I don't live life in a constant struggle. I I don't want to give that impression. But the problem is if you're an alcoholic like me, you have a pilot light in your the back of your brain and and I have a pilot light in the back of my brain and what that pilot light says is that like I know that I know that no matter what that there is this thing that will take this pain away, right? Like alcohol is a great anesthetic. And if I'm not treating my alcoholism through these steps, through this program, through this guy that I have found in Alcoholics Anonymous, eventually I will treat it through alcohol like I have before like I'm going to treat my alcoholism one way or another. Um the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous treat alcoholism the same way that um the alcohol does only be not quite so quick um and and the thing for me with that is that like you know i'm going to i can't stay in this untreated state i can't stay in this disturbed state but i've heard people say in alcoholics anonymous means before and i and i don't mean to knock it like if if i'm not happy i'm doing something wrong you know and and they talk about like the joy and the bliss and the this like let me tell you if you live the life that i lived getting to live this life feels pretty joyful so i'm i'm not dismissing that but but it it kind of created in my mind this false narrative that if ever i'm disturbed or if ever i'm upset or even resentful or afraid that I must be doing something wrong and I need to scramble around like a crazy person trying to fix me so I can feel okay. But that sounds kind of like the way that I lived when I was getting loaded, right? Like my entire life is just about not feeling bad. 
So, so I can, I can fall into that trap sober where, you know, something painful will happen and I scramble around trying to get out of the pain. But like, sometimes life is painful. Sometimes life is messy. Life is certainly scary. Things come up, things happen, horrible, tragic things sometimes. And I can believe the lie that Alcoholics Anonymous didn't tell me, but that I heard, like, because I have these broken ears, like I hear what I want to hear, where I think that because I'm in pain that I'm doing something wrong. But, but the truth is, is that for me, life is a constant Life is a constant series of ups and downs. That's just life. Alcoholics Anonymous and the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous do not make me immune to life's problems. But the, the, thank God, though, that um, what I do have is I have these set of, of spiritual tools. Like, right, our book talks about the spiritual toolkit that's been laid at my feet. And step six and seven, where it talks about these defects of character and being willing to get rid of them. Um, these defects of character, my fear, my selfishness, um, all these things that I'm, you know, crippled with, um, they're the things that bring me back to God because when my life gets, when I get uncomfortable enough in my own life, then I remember to to give it to God and and try to do something different. You know, I, I had a, a painful year this year in the sense that like a lot of stuff happened in my family. And I got really resentful at God because I went back to blaming God and expecting that because like I'm doing these things and I'm trying to help his kids in AA and and trying to be a good person, that that means that like I'm immune to any kind of suffering or pain. And, And I got really resentful at God behind it because I forgot that like nowhere in our book does, does, you know, I'm mad at God for not keeping for, I'm mad at God for breaking promises that he never kept. You know, I'm mad at God because my children are suffering. I'm mad at God because life isn't going the way that I think that it should. Um, And um, but God never promised me that I got my way, that I would get my way. Um, God promised me that he would take care of me if um, if I stayed close to him and perform his work well. If I do those things, then then God is going to give me everything I need. And and that has been true in my life. I've always been given everything I need, um, most of the time, even most of the things I want. But but I can get caught up in this idea that that I think I'm missing something, and because I'm unhappy, and and I can get disconnected from God and from you people again behind that fear. And and so the the trick for me is always to remain diligent in these steps in this process, in constantly looking at me and, and trying to, to, to do the next right thing. And, and what that means to me is it means going back through the steps and retaking inventory. And, and when I go back through the steps and I retake inventory and I start from scratch, this amazing thing happens for me. And, and what that means is that like I write a sober inventory that has nothing to do with alcohol. And I realize how sick I still can be at at six plus years sober in Alcoholics Anonymous thinking I'm doing the next right thing. I can write pages and pages of inventory and and have resentments and fears and and all these things that just don't go away. Um, And and what that really shows me is that um, that the thing that I suffer from you know, the voice in my head that tells me I'm not good enough, um, the voice in my head that says, don't say that they won't like you. You know, the voice in my head that still is um, is afraid I don't measure up has nothing to do with drinking. It It's all about this constant trying to um, align myself with God and 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 connect on this journey to his power. Translate. So, Alcoholics Anonymous law, intended no Avana Nick Sariga Ledu Pudu no Sariga under Nick Prashantanga Led and Nuedo Tapujas now in Jeptaru. Oh, Kapote had the Mesanga, the end of danger on the Jiutolo Nick Enirozu, Ananda Mayanga, Ula Sanga, Sanga, the war. Jiutolo Nadi Nick Badalon, Tai Santo Shalon Tai. You know, they would do not Jutolo, Bazana, they want to go to the under Kutaro. Ah, Nagbado, Chino, Ion, and Edo Jesas Nanemo, Edo Hippotanemo, Edo Tapujas Nanemo, 
అని నేను ఇంత ముందు ఎల్కహాల్ తాగేటప్పుడు కూడా అలాగే ప్రవర్తించేదాన్ని ఏమన్నా తేడా వస్తాయో ఇది ఏంటి ఇది ఏంటి అని కంగారు కంగారు కానీ ఇప్పుడు అలాగే ప్రవర్తిస్తే ఏం తేడా ఉంటుంది ఈ సంవత్సరం అంతా ఏం గొప్పగా లేదు నాకు మధ్యలో దేవుడి మీద రిజన్మెంట్ వచ్చింది నేను ఇన్ని చేస్తున్నాను నీ అందరి నీ పిల్లలందరికీ హెల్ప్ చేస్తున్నాను మరి నువ్వేంటి ఇలాగా నా పిల్ల నా పిల్లల్ని చూసుకోవట్లేదు అని దేవుడేమి నాకేమీ ప్రామిస్ చేయలేదు నీ కష్టాలు రావు అని చెప్పి నాతో పాటు ఉండు నేను నిన్ను జాగ్రత్తగా చూసుకుంటాను అన్నాడు అంటే నాకు ఏం అవసరమో అన్ని ఇచ్చాడు యాక్చువల్లీ నాకు అవ అవసరం కంటే ఎక్కువే ఇచ్చాడు చాలా విషయాలు అంతే తప్ప జీవితంలో కష్టాలు రావు నేను అనుకున్నట్టు జీవితం వెళ్ళాలని ఎప్పుడు ప్రామిస్ చేయలేదు నాకు దేవుడు ముఖ్యంగా నేను అలాగా ఉన్నప్పుడు ఏమవుద్దంటే నేను ఆల్కహాలిక్స్ అనానమస్ నుంచి కొంచెం దూరం అయిపోతాను ఇదేంటి ఇలా ఉంది నాకు ఎన్ని చేసిన అని చెప్పి ఆలోచనలో కాకపోతే ఏంటి ముఖ్యమైన విషయం ఏంటంటే జీవితం నాకు కష్టాలు వస్తాయి అఫ్ కోర్స్ అప్పుడు నేను తాగి ఈ రోజులతో పోల్చుకుంటే ఇప్పుడు ఆనందంగా ఉన్నట్టే జీవితం అద్భుతంగా ఉన్నట్టే అలా అని చెప్పి రోజు ఆనందంగా ప్రతి క్షణం అద్భుతంగా ఉండాలని ఏం లేదు బాధలు వస్తాయి ఆ బాధల్లో నుంచి బయటికి రావడానికే ఈ పన్నెండు సోపానాలు జీవితం అంటే పైకి ఉంటది కిందకే ఉంటది రెండు ఉంటాయి కిందకు ఉన్నప్పుడు నేను ఆ నొప్పి నుంచి ఎలా బయటికి రావాలి ఈ పన్నెండు సోపానాలు ముఖ్యంగా ఇన్వెంటరీ తీస్తాను నేను పేజీలు పేజీలు కొద్దీ ఇన్వెంటరీ తీయగలుగుతాను కాకపోతే ఏంటంటే నా దగ్గర ఈ ఇవన్ని ఆ పేజీలు రాసినప్పుడు నాలో ఎంత జబ్బు ఉంది అన్నది నాకు అర్థం అవుతుంది ఇంకా ఎంత జబ్బు ఉంది అనమాట నాలో అని చెప్పి ఆరున్నర సంవత్సరాలు అయినా చాలా రిజన్మెంట్లు పోవు మళ్ళీ వస్తూ ఉంటాయి భయాలు వస్తూ ఉంటాయి వాటి మీద మళ్ళీ మళ్ళీ నేను ఈ పన్నెండు సోపానాలు ఉపయోగించడమే అది ఎందుకు పోవట్లేదు అదే ఏంటంటే నన్ను నేను కొట్టేసుకోకూడదు ఏంటి నువ్వేం తప్పు చేస్తున్నావు ఇది అది అని చెప్పి ఎలాగా ఎందుకంటే జీవితం అన్నాక పైకి ఉంటుంది కిందకి ఉంటుంది ఆ ముఖ్యంగా ఈ డేంజర్ ఏముంటుంది అంటే నేను ఎప్పుడు హ్యాపీ జాయస్ ఫ్రీ అని ఉండాలి అని అంటే అది దాదాపుగా ఏంటంటే ఆ భావనలో ఉంటే కనుక నొప్పి వచ్చినప్పుడు ఏదో అయిపోతుంది అనుకుంటాము మనం మనం కించపరచుకుంటాము అలా చెయ్యాల్సిన అవసరం లేదు నొప్పి సంతోషం రెండు జీవితంలో భాగమే రెండిట్లోని ప్రోగ్రాం ఉపయోగించాలి అని చెప్తున్నాను ఐ థింక్ వీఆర్ అబౌట్ టైమ్ బేక్ సో ప్రాబ్లమ్ Great. You want me to, uh, I'm sorry. What? We're about coming to the end, right? Did I lose you? Hello? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. You want me to sum? So you I think, about... uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can now. We're about done, right? Do you want me to sum up or just say goodbye? Yeah, I think we are about time. Okay. Yeah. No, no, you can sum up and... Uh, okay, perfect. Um, then... um, thank you so much for having me. You know, I know we're out of time. I just want to say, you know, Alcoholics Anonymous has saved my life. It, it's given me a brand new life. It's given me a way to live. Um, it's given me a way that when, when I follow it, it solves all my problems. Um, our book says we're extreme examples of, of self-will run riot, though I usually don't think so. But AA has given me a way to overcome my nature, to connect to God and to live a useful life and a life of purpose. And all I have to do is to seek a way to make God the central fact of my life and try to be useful and helpful to his kids in Alcoholics Anonymous. I used to want to drink more than I wanted to breathe every day. And every day I wanted to wake up dead. And today I get to wake up with a new sense of hope and a new freedom. um as as i get to face life as it shows up so thank you so much for having me it was an interesting experience and i really appreciate you all thank you thank you so avadi em antarante mottaniki purchi cheppali ante a annadi naaku jeevithan ichindi oka jeevitham ela patakalo nerpinchindi 
మెయిన్ గా ఏంటంటే నా జీవితం ఎప్పుడు దేవుడికి సెంటర్ అయి ఉండాలి గాడ్ సెంటర్ అండ్ గాడ్ డిపెండ్ ఏంటంటే నా జీవితంలో సెంటర్ ఎప్పుడు దేవుడు ఉండాలి ఆయన మీద నేను ఆధారపడాలి లేక ఆవిడ మీద నేను ఆధారపడాలి వాళ్ళ పిల్లలకి నేను ఆయన పిల్లలకి ఆవిడ పిల్లలకు నేను సహాయం సహాయపడుతూ వెళ్తూ ఉండాలి అన్నది ఈ రోజు నేర్పించింది నాకు సో నన్ను పిలిచిన తుగు కృతజ్ఞతలు చెప్పుకుంటూ ఆవిడ సెలవు తీసుకుంటున్నాను